Howdy folks, Todd Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, 40th Anniversary Edition. And today we're going to do one of the missions. Um, I actually went through all of these Discovery Flights on my own and made a video, but it was a stupid video that was really boring of me flying around each of these for like two minutes. So, I already tried, terrible video, so I've done these already. I may, maybe I'll go back and specialize in one or something. Um, but I've already done the discovery flights, and I tried. It was a terrible video. We might do the spruce goose, so that was amazing. Anywho, we've done that. So today, with the discovery flights out of the way, and this in the future maybe, let's see what our next mission is. And it's this one. A Lucian cargo run from FSX. Let's see what it says. It's about an hour. That's fine. I obviously will edit it down for you. This will be our... Well, here's says 44 minutes. Here's the 55 Here's the 104. Okay, whatever. Anyway, it looks like a runaway is that. When we get there, it looks like the skies are kind of dark. We're in the Grumman Goose. I have not flown this in this simulator. I used to fly the next plane quite a bit, but it's been a long time, so we're going to have to learn the plane while we do the mission, which adds quite a bit of challenge, to be honest, but we'll do the best we can. As a pilot for a Dutch harbor, sp harbor base Alaskan air taxi operation, you make your living flying up and down the islands of the Lucian chain. The weather in the Lucians is notoriously unpredictable, and as winter approaches, the job becomes one of the most dangerous in the world. I've talked about this before. I have a friend from, or acquaintance, from high school who moved to Alaska after high school, and he's been doing this exact thing in the Lucian chain since, like, the 90s. I'm not kidding. This is literally his job. It's what we're going to do today. And where were I? Oh, one of the most ancient world. It may be sunny on Umak, Umnak. But there's a storm approaching Dutch Harbor. The mission begins with the goose at the end of the runway at Nikol the Nikolski Air Station. And at the south end of Unnak Island. Take off whenever you're ready. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see here. Once airborne, follow the eastern coast of the island north. Cross Unnak Pass and make a water landing at Church Foki Harbor at the southern end of Unalaska Island. Water taxi to the dock and drop off the mail. Then take off again and fly northeast. Land on the runway at New Alaska Airport in Dutch Harbor. This direct course from the Scorsi Air Station to Chernovsky Harbor Seaplane Base in Alaska Airport is programmed into the GPS. Navigate as desired or as necessary due to weather. Altitude is at your discretion. You can fly VFR and thread your way through the clouds or file IFR en route using the flight simulator air traffic control feature. Moon Alaska Airport has an NDB approach if you can't make it visually. Okay, remember this. This is so they're just like a test, right? This will be on the test. This will be on the test. This will also be on the test. We're going to ask you press NDB approach. If you can't make it visually, you can navigate in this mission by following the mission compass and the mission pointer. I'm not sure what that means. We'll find out together. You're all alone on this flight. You'll be prompted to communicate with the company dispatcher, and you'll hear radio communication between the dispatcher and other aircraft. You can use the ATC control feature if you desire. Okay, so very different than a bush trip, obviously. We actually have to land and take off, even though it doesn't say here. It just says it's one leg. So do the best we can using the GPS. I'm sure there's an analog as well. Um, this is my first attempt, so you're watching this video as my first attempt. If I fail, I might try it again in a different video, or just quickly succeed in tacking onto this video. Not sure. You'll find out as you watch. So we need to be careful here. GPS. It's going to tell us GPS, but then there's weather, and then there's NDB approach. So we remember that NDB. 283 Delta Union Tango. Uniform Tango, if, if we remember. It'll be on the VFR map, too, as of two updates ago. So, okay, let's crank everything forward on my yoke, because I assume we're starting with engines running, and let's go. Okay, so it's going to do the thing where it tells you where to go as a waypoint. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I like this. So first of all, oh crap, I didn't do my <laughs> I didn't do my preset before I moved it. So first of all, you all might be seeing the frame rates in the top left corner. I'm not doing that to flex. I hate that word, but whatever. I'm not doing it to flex. I'm doing it because I turned on DLSS in the sim. Now I have a 2080, an RTX 2080, so I do not believe it's running DLSS 3 because I didn't mod the card, but it should be running DLSS at some point and we're over 100 frames per second when I normally was at 45 to 65. I did a test in an urban area. I did Minneapolis with everything maxed out including crazy clouds 
in the Cessna and I was getting 109. So we will see. I'm going to keep this up for a couple of videos just to see how it goes. And also, because I'm recording, add a few frames to that. Add like five frames per second to that, and that's my real frame rate. So we're at 110, 115. Okie dokie. So again, I'm not doing it to flex. I'm doing it literally just to test. So let's see here. What do we want to do? Um, I got to set up some presets, and then I'll be right back with you here. Oh, as I set up these presets, the other reason I didn't um, keep my discovery videos is because... What happens if I do this, and then make a preset, and then do something else? Is because um, my pr the presets were broken, so all my presets were outside of the plane. So that was kind of frustrating. Oh, it does it keep your zoom when you do a preset? I didn't know that. This whole time I've been manually walking around. Anyway, so yeah, it made all my presets outside. It was so frustrating. So anyway, again, let's just stay intact. I'm going to set my presets and I'll be right back. Okay, there's a tailwheel lock down here. And it's always unlocked when you start. So let's lock the tailwheel. Actually, let's um make this a preset because we're going to need it for something else. Probably anything else on here we need. What's that? Let's put that in my preset we might need it but anyway um let's lock the tail wheel because we're about to take off it's kind of weird that they don't lock it for you don't know what that is i should turn on tool tips shouldn't i okay that's rudder trim we don't need that so let's do my preset three here only the tail wheel lock matters um let's see here we don't is there a rudder control in here so like if we there's landing you don't need a preset there what's this no fuel tank selected oh off. okay um, we might actually want that in a preset. What else do we want back here? Hey, you can, um, oh, cool, check this out. That's, this is so awesome. I know we're supposed to be flying the mission, but I've never been in this plane before, so we're just kind of messing around here. Oh, well, that's super cool. Is this the bathroom? We will never know because we can't go in there. I want to set some presets up back here, though. This is awesome. 6WC calling base. Hello? 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 That's cool. This is Dutch Harbor Base. Go ahead. <laughs> Did you hear that? Amazing. Sounds like you're right down the street. But we're hundreds of miles over Shemya with Atu on the horizon. If I squint real hard, I can just make out the end of the Earth from here. Roger oh, that. that. End that's of the so Earth cool. Of night. You still planning on staying out there for the night? Yeah, might as well. I'm pretty beat. You don't need the plane until noon tomorrow, right? Correct. We gotta take that documentary crew and all their gear to Kodiak. There's a heck of a storm blowing in right now anyway. Gotcha. Severe clear out here. So yeah, I'll spend an exciting evening out on the town on Atu with a handful of the Coast Guard's finest. Got one on board now, and we've been chatting the whole way. Navy SEAL during the 60s. Full of stories. I bet. Don't believe everything he says. I used to be married to a SEAL, you know. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. Oh, by the way, we're pretty sure we saw an Akronoplin in Amchitka Pass. Sure you did. No, really. Looked like a huge jet skimming the surface in ground effect, and it appeared to be heading your way at a pretty fast clip. Looked like one of those new rich guy ground effect yachts to me, but the seal thinks it's the Caspian Sea monster. Oh, okay. We'll, uh, be on the lookout for it. True story, he got a ride in once, so he should know. Talk to you in the morning. Sleep well out there. Face out. 6WC out. Well, that was funny, that conversation while I finish up my presets here but um instead there's gps i don't see a gps so <laughs> that must be our gps just the vfr map how do i turn this yoke off i want to see what's down here because we need all this stuff so just going to decide what i want this to be here okay so there's one there's two there's three we need the switches actually to lower this we can actually see the switches that we need i just wanted to include all these things in here so that does not turn off, does it? Let's make this three. Anything over here that we need? No. Geo visibility. Okay, cool. So that's three. You can see this up here. Actually, we can kind of go even closer, maybe. And down, because there's the extinguisher. We won't need it, but we should have it anyway. And there are our lights and things. So there's three. So, okay, so we got one, two, three, four. Oops. What am I doing? I made that four, too. What's three going to be? Anyway, my presets, there's one, there's two, there's three. Looking at those switches we need, we can put the yoke back in, I think. Wherever the click spot went for the yoke, it's gone. <laughs> there's no four because there's no GPS in here. There's five, we need that stuff. Six is out here. Where do I get the yoke back in? Oh, where was it? I saw a click spot. There it is. 
Six is case okay, whoops. So six is the copilot, seven is cheat, eight is that thing. We might need that valve. Nine is out the window there, and zero is out the window there. We are all set. 10, 20 minutes into this thing. Okay, we can turn the preset things off now. Whoops, it's not in this. It's in here in accessibility. Presets, I say. We can turn off the tooltips. All right, we got to listen to some radio, which is cool. And we have our path here, but it doesn't show us where we are. So we're going to have to look at the little thing there and the checkpoint. So there we go. I didn't see anything about a water rudder or anything. Um... So we're just going to land with gear up, I guess. Because I didn't see any water rudder. I haven't gone through a checklist in this plane, so I don't know if there is one. Um, we're going to find out together. Okay, you ready over there? Ready? Let's go. It took me forever to get going, but here we go. Our flap's down? I don't know. And parking brake is on, I guess. Here we go. This is fun. This is super fun. What a great sound. What a great sound. What's our speed? Is that like... I can't see our speed too blind let's take out we're not on the ground so we're not on the grass this is a bad takeoff all right here we go you're coming up right oh the dang hut is gonna be in the way whatever oh my i have my yoke all the way to the right why well, i want to turn and flaps i think i saw something about flaps here yeah they were up we should put them down oh well anywho there are some mountains we're looking Base, 550 to for some reason my yoke is all the way to the right just to keep it straight so I don't quite understand what that's all about maybe this is supposed to be heavy it's beautiful I don't like that the HUD is in the way but that's okay cannot turn it off in these preset things and we're just gonna aim towards the water landing thing and um yeah we're just gonna head through here and that mountain you see there is probably that mountain right there Okay, I do not see an autopilot, which means I have to hand fly this thing, which is totally fine with me. I love to hand fly, it just means we're not going to have as many outside views as I would like. Is there a way to trim this, so, like a rudder trim, so it doesn't keep, or an alien trim? Because it keeps going to the left super bad. Do we see, oh, preset 3, there we go. Do we see anything that might help us? Alright, that's better. Uh, let's see here, anything here about autopilot, what is this stuff? Heat lights. Um, lava doesn't even work. Landing lights, yes, of course you want those on. Um, this is fun. I love this plane, but my yoke is completely to the right, and you can see it barely... It barely goes straight, with then only to the right, I don't understand. Uh, let's see, we got 52 nautical miles, so we have a lot of time ahead of us. I'm gonna edit a lot of it out, of course. I'm just trying to see what is in this airplane here. We got our clock. Fire extinguisher, vacuum gauge, none of that does anything anyway. We've got all of our lights down here. And battery generator, nav light beacon, I don't know what receptor cold to plug things in. And stuff. Okay, so that's that side of the airplane. Much here in the middle. Whiskey compass altimeter, we're at 3,000 feet. I think I have that in this view. Yep, there's 3,000 feet. We're climbing at 1,500 feet. Let's stop climbing so much. Um, slip indicator, airspeed, we're doing. One, is it knots on the inside, miles per hour on the outside? Yep, we're doing 120 knots. See, look at our thing here. See, it's like an attitude thing here. Look at this, it keeps going to the left. And I, there's nothing to click on to like trim that. So I'm using my early on trim, which I normally don't use on my yoke. I know I have a programmed. And let's see if that straightens out, because look at that down there, look at that. Will not straight now and we better be careful or we're gonna run into the mountains let's get back over the water and let's stop climbing look at our vertical speed let's trim this thing down like crazy okay my early on trim might have actually worked so now it's going to the right and it's gonna straighten okay it worked my early on trim worked I never need to use that man this is dramatic kind of plane you don't know <laughs> but I love this I love that there's a mission to do Okay, keep learning the airplane. Let's take that off for a second. Um, I don't think I have anything about icing. Don't know what this is. Doesn't work anyway. Don't know. Oh, what is that? Oh, our tailwheel lock. Yeah, we want that. Um, what is this? Doesn't do anything. What is this? Doesn't do anything. What is that? Oh, what do you call that thing? Um, can't remember. 
<laughs> that's my radio communication or not. Uh, what else we got? Not on a pilot. That doesn't. Whoop. Now put your yoke back in. This doesn't do anything. Whatever this is down here, I should know what that is. I'm feeling bears. I can't name it right now. Uh, if we come back here, nope, back here I said we got the fuel valve open, left tank, right tank. We might have to change that as we fly. Engine cutoff valve, don't care about that. I should put that in my view though, maybe we need it someday. There we go. Um, We're going to go around the mountain, we're good on that. We're still climbing like crazy. What are we at? What's 5,000 feet. I don't want to be at 5,000 feet. I want to come down. And I still want to get over to the right. It's still going left. So let's keep the airline on trim and get it to stay straight. Holy cow. And what do we have up here? We have our gauges for our motors. We have, um, oh my gosh, the fuel <laughs> mixture and throttles. Does this have reversers? We'll find out. I should know that, but I don't yet. Ignition, obviously. Starter switches. Um, head temperature. Okay, and flaps and cages we don't need, right? Carb heat, is that in my preview? Because we might need that um, someday when we start this on our own. Okay, let's not hit a mountain and let's stop climbing. Turtle, you're not following instructions. And we're still drifting left. Could be some wind, I guess. Maybe it's partly wind, but it is really crazy. All right, we got everything. We looked at everything up there. That's a weird view. Let's set the view like this, please. And let's try it again. There we go. Anything above that that we need? No. What prop? Okay, there we go. Carp heat. Yep, yep, yep. Not gonna mess with that without a checklist. Okay, I think we've explored the entire plane. There's no autopilot because why would there be? Um, is that a reference to? All that stuff does fun things. Two of that over there, I bet. Nope, not that one. They're turning again, see. Alright, no autopilot, obviously. Um, I just need to Google what this is. I mean, we can't do anything with it anyway, but I'm curious what this is. Even though we can't do anything. Huh. Anywho. Alright, I think we're good. I think we've learned everything. Um, I don't see any radio communication in here, so even if we did check out the NDB approach, Where's our card for that then? Why doesn't my preset keep getting all wonky up here? Um, I don't see a card for the NDB or the ADF. Oh my gosh, stop climbing turtle. Come on, trim down, trim down, trim down. Um, do you see an ADF card anywhere? Like, even if not, that's finally level. Even if we get, um, even if we get an NDB, we're still climbing. I don't see an ADF card. So how would we do an NDB approach without an ADF card? Um, maybe I'm blind. Put in the comments if you know, does this have an ADF card for the NDB? I don't know. Can't find it. Obviously no autopilot, which is fine. Okay, there we go. That was a very long ramble, but we did a tour of their plane together. <laughs> so now let's enjoy some views. Let's hop outside. Actually, can we use the drone? Is it stable enough? We can use the drone for a moment. Just remember, when I move to drone, I lose control of my aircraft. Um, gosh, I have like full trim down and it's still climbing. Right, there's flaps are up, gears up. Anyway, this is a beautiful view, but the dang HUD is in the way which can't turn off in these preset things. Let's quickly do a drone shot, get a thumbnail in there if we can, see how we're turning left now, that's fine, but um, let's just do some night, oops, I forgot I'm supposed to use this for my drone now, my keyboard. Anywho, it's looking really nice, looking really cool. Um, I love this airplane even more than I did an X-plane, even though it's... Come on, drone reset. It's quite difficult to get going here. But anyway, now we did our tour of the airplane. I'm going to close my mouth a little bit. I'm going to fly toward this water landing. I'm going to try to give you some sightseeing. Um, I'm going to check on my frame rates. We're at 120. That's awesome. And, um, I mean, there's not a lot to draw, but I was over 100 in, um, dense Minneapolis. So anyway... 
All right, I want to enjoy some sights with you here, and I'll see you when it's time to come down for a water landing. Or if there's any radio communication, I'll try to leave that in if I don't accidentally edit it out. And I will see you in a little bit. Alright, that was fun to listen to that radio communication. So they're talking about the NDB approach that they hinted before that we should be flying ourselves. Let me redo my trims here now that the weather changed. What they're talking about is if you go here and zoom in, you'll see the NDB. You can click on it. It gives you the frequency. Isn't that awesome? Here's the problem. I don't see where to put it in here. I don't see radio stuff. Um, because we just have gauges and stuff there. I don't see any radio things in here. I'm probably blind in the editing. I'll probably find it if I do a highlight it. Um, I don't know what this is. This sounds like... Come on. Go away, please. This down here. Come on. Feels like it could be radio, right? I mean, it has frequencies and stuff. But he can't do anything to it. So that might be radio. I don't know what to do with it. Well, we're turning to. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where we're going to put that NDB in. And that was an ADF card to shoot it. So they're telling us to do something I don't understand how to do in this plane. Of course, I know what NDB approach is. I've done it many times, but... I don't know where it is in here. So if you know, leave in the comments. If I figured it out, I'll try to put in editing or I'll leave a comment myself. But there you go. There's your assignment. Is there an ADF card? I don't know. But anyway, 120 frames per second ping because that's why my refresh rate is on my monitor. So it'll never go higher than 120. Um, we can be, I mean, it's dipping down to 119, so it's probably like 120, 125. But doing good so far. Um, this DLSS thing is amazing. I can't believe it. So anywho, back outside and more sightseeing until we land at this water landing and we hear some more radio communication. How fun is this? This is so much funner than I funner. So much more fun than I expected it would be. Hopefully you're enjoying the view.
right, so in case you're wondering what's going on, I'm intentionally avoiding the clouds because I don't see icing in this plane. And um, I don't know what um, what would happen if we go through the clouds. Whoa, my frame rate shot up to 129 for a second. That's weird. Anyway, um, we're avoiding the clouds. Quite simple. I they even gave that hint in the preview, right, when we read about it. And we'll start coming down in a little bit. It looks like the water landing, if you look at our VFR map, which is quite helpful for this. Um, thank you. It's going to be in this direction that we're heading. And there's supposed to be a dock there. So we'll aim for the water landing thing. We'll look for a dock. I don't know if we're going to get like a save icon or a check mark. Or if you even have to land there for it to count. Maybe you would... Um, Still count even if we skipped it. I don't know how that works. Are there objectives turned on? There are not objectives turned on. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to know or not if we land. But we'll do the best we can. Hopefully it counts and then we'll be on our way to the next place. So I'm just avoiding the clouds. I'm starting to come down now. And um, looks like we avoided everything. I'm just looking at that hill and the mountains. There's another airport and there's the moon out there too. And um, yeah, we're just going to start coming down. We're going to go below the clouds in front of us. We'll probably thread through these. And I was going to say something else, and I totally forgot. <laughs> but anyway, I don't see anything about water rudder. There are no checklists available. I'm pushing my checklist button. Um, no ETC. You can pause. You can turn on the map in the nav log, I guess. I don't think there's anything in here because we're just flying. We're just looking for the little waypoint there so fly heading told there you go yeah just land in the harbor once you land water taxi to the pier pull up and drop off the mail maybe we will get a um dialog box if i remember an fsx i think you had got dialog boxes that would be helpful and let's not touch these clouds water taxi out of the harbor that would make sense um continue to touch harbor Straight and landing runway 31, land on the runway. Yeah. Quite simple. So, um, we'll just continue here and avoid clouds. And I'll see you again in a little bit. Six nautical miles is pretty quick, so bring it back throttles here. So we descend, we'll keep gear up, we'll use flaps as we need them. Again, I don't see anything about a water rudder or anything, so that's kind of confusing, but maybe we don't need it. Um, let's not stress the aircraft, because remember, all realism is turned on. If you crash and all that stuff, you have to redo the leg. So we want to be as careful as possible. Um, and we'll come in here and avoid the clouds again because it's cold, probably. And we don't have icing as far as I know. Is there OAT in this? I don't see OAT. I'm sure there's somewhere if I look more carefully, but I'm not looking very carefully. So, anywho. Our speed is pretty high. We're 165 knots. So let's take a nice sweeping S to the harbor here. Man, this thing takes all of my input to turn this thing. I feel like I'm flying the biggest jet in the world. This is crazy. It takes a lot of input. Huh. Interesting. Do I like this view? I can't decide. I'll fix it later. Anyway, three miles or so that is the dock here. I don't know, but we're getting pretty close to the ground. We are at what? 200 and... Or is it 2,000 feet? I can't tell. No, we're at 200 feet. Okay, so we got to be careful here. Do not smash into the ground. And we will land there in a moment. We just got to bring our speed down to which we finally are. So gear stays up. Let's get a visual on where we're headed. We'll just go right into the harbor here and taxi to the dock if we can find it. And then um, just keep an eye on speed and everything. It says something about flaps over here, I think. Does it say flap speeds? What's it say? 
It says do not exceed 225. Do not exceed 110 with flaps. And what are we at? We're at 130, so no flaps yet. We don't want to stress the aircraft. Um, let's see, what are we at? 120 feet. So let's stay. Base 550 oh, departing Chernovsky. 550, Roger. See you back here. But hurry, big storm's blowing in. Base out. Base 2SM. Two 2SM, two go ahead. I'm about 10 out of cold, Ben. I think I'm just gonna spend the night up here. That way, if Dodge is socked in the morning, I can still make the Anchorage run. Sounds like a plan. It's closing in real fast down here. Nasty storm on the way. Yeah, that's what I figured. Only gonna get worse, too. Who else is still out there? The King Air is overnighting at Asu, and Pretty Boy is on his way back from Sandpoint. Oh, and the Goose is just off Chernovsky. Nikolsky was BFR, so maybe it's open south of here. Hard to tell this time of year. Yeah, I hear ya. It's getting pretty nasty up here, too. I'm getting bounced all over the place. All right, well, be careful out there. And say hi to Diana for me if you see her. Will do. Do us, I'm out. Base out. All right, 200 feet above ground. First set of flaps out, second set of flaps out. I did that when you were listening to the radio. And here we go. We're just going to ride this out as smoothly as possible. Full flap now. And smooth, smooth. Ooh, that wasn't as smooth as it could have been. A bummer. Nice to hear from you. We got you down now, landing Chernovsky. Talk to you in a few. And it doesn't tell me where the where the dock is. So we're gonna go this way because the thing went away from us. I don't see a dock. If maybe it's just pretend. Maybe we're just gonna pretend that you're at the dock and they're gonna take off. I don't know. Um, our GPS changed. If you look here, our GPS changed to the next, um, whatchamacallit, waypoint. So I don't know, let's just see if there's actually a dock or not. Um, again, you don't have brakes, we don't have a water rudder, so we're relying on the regular rudder. Um, it must just be pretend that we're looking for a dock. And if we could change this, maybe that'll change to the NDB for us. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, I don't see a dock or anything. I think it's just pretend. What's down that way if we look? Yeah, that's nothing there. Um, I think it's just pretend. So, oh wait, there's, hang on, there's some, a red light over there. Oh, well, that's. Did I see a red light over here? I thought I did. Anywho, we'll go for a minute here and see if we find any. See? See that red light? Is that something? Or am I just seeing things here? Um, I don't think that's anything. I think you just pretend that you went to the dock and dropped stuff off. So we'll just turn around, I guess. And we'll do the next part of the leg here. But anywho. Yeah, see, okay. Oh, offload point. Oh. Oh. I'm blind. I, I tell the kids I have eyes on the back of my head. But, um. I obviously don't because we missed that. <laughs> Let's reset that so we actually know where we're going. Alright, so again, no water rudder. I'm just using a regular rudder. If there's a water rudder, let me know. I'll have to do this plane in free flight and learn the checklist, because the checklist will give you hints as to what there is and stuff in the plane. Um, kind of funny we get a regular HSI up here with GPS and everything. So like I said, maybe that'll change to NDB for us, for the approach, because I keep hinting at that NDB approach. But I don't know the NDB approach, because I don't have the card, so I just know. In this case, you fly towards it, you know, kind of lined up with the heading of the runway and land. Anywho, let's get going over here, because we totally blew by this, and let's see what happens when we get there. Any of you who have already done this mission, I assume you've been yelling at your monitors the whole time. The pier's behind you. There's no water rudder. It'll change the um, ASI for AHHSI for you, blah, blah, blah. But that's the point of this channel. We learn things together. I don't practice and polish them and then show you. Sometimes I do, but most of the time we just do it together. That's the difference with my channel. Um... And it's fun. We all learn things together. 
This is so crazy to be over 110 frames per second. I know we're in the middle of nowhere, but still, that's awesome. That is awesome. We're booking right along here at 40 knots. Okay. Is there a smart cam thing? Does that do anything? No, not right now. All right, we're getting there. 5.6. Little view out there. The sun sets. It did take us a long time to get going because we had to learn the aircraft before we took off. Oh, our distance has gone. 0.49. And I want to be able to get out, right? So I got to be careful that we don't go nose in because we have to be able to get out. And I don't know if this has reversers. Let's find out right now. No reversers. So we won't be able to get out if we nose in. I guess we could slew, but I don't know if they allow slew or not in these preset things. But there we go. We see the place to drop stuff off. Very cool. 0.21. Taking forever. <laughs> but we're getting there. I just got to make sure we don't go nose in so i'm trying to figure out why we're not turning very much because we don't have water rudder that's why there has to be a water rudder button somewhere i don't know whatever we will learn when we do the checklist in the future okay here we go all right i feel like i'm playing forge horizon 5 and i'm supposed to smash that building but okay now we're getting some speed oh boy do not do not hit anything. Oh boy. I have throttles back. Oh no. Turn. Turn. I know the slower you go, the more it turns. Come on. Turn. Why are you not turning at all? There's our pier. Don't hit anything. No, 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 no. We'll have to redo it. Why won't this thing turn at all? Oh boy. You beached it. Is it going to crash? Nope. Okay, well, hello. <laughs> we, we're delivering your mail. Um, do I need to put out wheels so I can get back in the water, or what? What do you do when this happens? Um, because there's no reversers, right? I can't. Do I just gun it and go for it and try to get... Let's put gear down at this point. It crashed. Okay, um, I don't understand. Without a water rudder, I don't understand how I'm supposed to turn. So let's restart from the last completed waypoint. Yes, that's fine. What's it going to put us here? It's going to put us by the pier, I hope? Please put us by the pier. Five, it's in the air. Five, it's in the air. Here, okay, are right we supposed now. to do a water Base landing two again? Two SM, go ahead. I'm about 10 out of cold, man. I think I'm just going to spend the night up here. That way, if Dutch is socked in the morning, I can still make the anchorage run. Sounds like a plan. It's closing in real fast down here. Nasty storm on the way. Yeah, that's what I figured. Only gonna get worse, too. Who else is still out there? The King Air is overnighting at Atu, and Pretty Boy is on his way back from Sandpoint. Oh, and the Goose is just off Chernovsky. Nikolsky was VFR, so maybe it's open south of here. Hard to tell this time of year. Yeah, I hear ya. It's getting pretty nasty up here, too. I'm getting bounced all over the place. All right, well, be careful out there. And say hi to Diana for me if you see her. Will do. Do us, I'm out. Base out. Base 550 departing Nikolsky. 550, roger. Have a good flight. All right, we're going to reland this and go by the dock from this side now that we know where it is. And hopefully, we'll be able to um, complete this. So let's not get too close because we're the dock isn't that far away. It's like right here, right? Somewhere. It also noticed that it went over here to the green. GPS is gone, so maybe that's going to set up our NDB once we get closer. I'm not sure. But let's S curve out of here because we got a lot of speed to drop off. And we can't extend flaps until it's 110. So we're at what? Um, 200 feet, 300 feet. Let's turn back, and then when we level off to lose, or to stop losing altitude, then it should be pretty straightforward. Whoa. Whoops, I got too much left rudder. What am I doing? Um, you're watching this. You're watching the ball. You're right, according to your turn. Alrighty. 
we will lose speed once we level off here because we're almost at ground. There we go, we're at 900. I say 200 before, it was 1200, sorry. We're at 700. Alrighty, here we go. We'll get down to about 200, then I'll level off. And then that'll slow us way down. There we go. That'll slow us down fast, and then we'll do our um, flaps in a second here. Oh, don't touch the water yet. Stay at 200 feet. Where was that dock? Was it out there? I think it was out straight ahead, right? Or was it to the right? First set of flaps. Second set of flaps. Yeah, I think it was up here. I don't think it was here. No, I'm pretty sure it was up here. I know we're landing kind of far away, but I want to see the dock this time before we get there. Full flap. That'll help us sink quickly. Do not bounce this time, please. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That's weird because normally my water landings and other aircraft have been really good. So I don't know if there's a dock over there, right? Isn't that the dock? I'm confused. It says water landing is over here. But isn't that the dock? Alright, we're going to cross over this first set of mountains directly. Um, and then when we get to the next set of mountains, we're going to... Whoops, wrong one. We're going to look for... So we're going to cross over these directly like this. Similar to what that's telling us. Then we're going to try to find this lake. Hopefully we get the right valley. If we get this valley, we're in trouble. If we get this valley, we're in trouble. If we get this valley, we should be okay. I don't know if we're higher or not because we're going to be in the clouds. So this is going to be a mess. I think the point is... Oh, let's see what they say. Alright, they're saying some radio stuff that they've already said, so I'll just talk over it. I think the plan is to be below the clouds and then navigate the mountains, but we're going a little bit above because... There we go. And they still want us to do that water landing, so... I don't know. If this doesn't count, I'll just refly it on my own, I guess, but... Um, is kind of annoying <laughs> that it might not be working out and then I think the reason why the GPS is gone is for the same reason as the um, bush trips if you read if you go back to a bush trip your GPS is going the way I don't know but we're going to fly over these mountains nice and close yet somewhat realistically here we go there's a next set and then we'll follow in the valley looking for on one looking for the Craig Valley, mainly a little like the river. That's what we're looking for. Then we'll come down off the descent quickly because I think we're up to like 14,000. I mean, after almost up to 17,000 feet. So I've been trimming down this entire leg and it's just still climbing. So it must be trimming here somewhere that I missed. I saw a trim down here for rudder trim, but I don't see any other trim. So somewhere there has to be trim. Maybe I can do it faster. Like in the DC-3, you just grab the trim wheel. It's way faster than doing it with, like, buttons or your yoke. Um, anyway, very dangerous. There's clouds when we're going over the mountains, so this would be very dangerous. It would probably be more, probably be safer to go on the water and go under the clouds, but why would we do that? This is turtle style. All right, there's our lake, and there's our river going to the airport, so... Wish me luck. We're going to start coming down, bring throttles back to descend. We'll go right down this valley. You know I love being below train, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then we'll try to approach it from the south like it tells us to, but if you screw up, we'll approach it from the north. I don't see any crazy storms that they were talking about in the radio calls. <laughs> Maybe it's going to get ominous once we get closer. Not sure. But anyway, here we go. We have to use this view at this point. You'll be flying through the mountains and once it comes. Another good mountain there. Let's not crash. Alrighty, where were we? I actually had to step away for 45 minutes. And I'm back. For you, you don't notice anything other than maybe a change in my microphone volume when I sat down again. Let's not hit that mountain, please. There's the lake I was talking about. We had a lot of speed. Let's trim back here. I don't know when we fly from the outside, but it's kind of fun. Um, let's see. I'm looking for an airport. Okay, so navigate the mountains. That is not at the airport. So we need to find the mount to find the airport. Um, 
Oh my gosh, it's way up there. Because there's that, that. There's a coming through. It's on the other side of... What? It's like really far away. So that is not even the airport right there. Um... Okay, there's the airport here, in front of that mountain. This is going to be interesting. I kind of had a feeling that was at the airport a little bit ago, but I didn't see anything until now. Anyway, we're bullet train level, my favorite thing to do. Now I just need to find this airport. Um, there's no NDB, because we left and came back when we crashed. So, we lost all that. We, whoa, what was that? Train turbulence? So maybe it's okay then that the water thing stayed because remember before, before we crashed, the water thing went away and then it said go pick up stuff. Remember? The water thing never went away the next time. Maybe it's supposed to stay, but it went away. See, I'm talking in circles again. Anyway, let's not crash. Let's keep a beautiful eye out for everything. Let's keep an eye on our not really a six pack, it's split up more than that, but let's keep an eye on everything. We're at uh, 1200, 1100 feet. Okay, we're gonna go over the navigate the mountain thing. Uh, what does Smart Cam do? Smart Cam looks at it. That is great. Okay, there we go. See, it went away, and now it's putting us where we want to be. See? See? But maybe it counts because of the mouth? I don't know. All this jibber-jabber and speculation is going to mean nothing once we get our answer in a couple minutes. That's what's funny about making videos, is I'll talk it through and be all confused. And then at the end of the video, we have our answer. So then I'm editing, I'm like, I already know how this turns out. <laughs> but you get to see the thought process. Airport must be right here on that plot of land, that flat bit of land. Yeah, see? It's right here. And it goes, oh wow, it goes all the way to the end of the hill here. That's a big airport. Alrighty, let's get ready for landings. So let's get our speed back a little bit. And then that's a very short final, no matter how we do it. But we'll be fine. Um, yeah, that's a really short final. Good grief. That's okay. Throttle's back. Is it too fast for gear? I don't want to stress the gear and crash after we do the section. Um, so let's get gear down now. That should be good. Let's have a look at it. Since we can, it is a Taldrager configuration. So keep that in mind. We'll look at the little village below us. Um, it is Taldrager configuration. And first set of flaps. Ooh. That changed a lot. Let's not hit this out of the mountain. I see airplanes, but I don't quite see it how the runway is set up. That's loud when those flaps come out. Second set of flaps. I don't see any changes, but there they're coming down. Okay, cool. Alrighty, and you can tell up here. That's all, there's only two sets. Okay, I thought there were three. Alrighty, right over the village. I still don't see how the runway is set up. I just see airplanes on the runway. So we're going to come out here. Keep our speed up a little bit. Again, I haven't done this in free flight. Look at that. Base so 550 arriving Dutch Harbor. I have, 550, roger. Okay. Careful on the way down. It's nasty out there. It is not. And again, you probably already know that. Base out. Anyway, since I haven't done this in free flight, now I can see the runway. Since I haven't done this in free flight, um, I haven't seen the checklist yet, so I don't know, like, speeds for approach and all that stuff, so we're just going to do the best we can. So we're going to come in a little fast, just because I don't know when it stalls. And, um... Jeez, I got full throttle. Oh boy, is it going to have the problem where it's not going to turn to the right? This is going to be rough, folks. I have full right early on and it's barely, barely turning. The heck? Is this thing supposed to be this hard to fly? I just feel like I'm flying like a triple size jet airliner here. Okay, so we're coming in hot because I don't know what our speed is supposed to be, which is fine. We'll level off, we'll bleed off, we'll let it touch down. It's a tail dragger, so don't smash the tail into the ground. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. Okay, is this stall already? This is stall already? No. Yes. No. Yes. Ugh. Um, 
Wait, are we down? Oh, we're down. I thought we bounced. We didn't bounce. We just was kind of rough. Okay, we were down. Okay. This gonna count? Um. Okay. What now? What now? Don't hit that nose wheel when we break. I'm stepping on the brakes. Are we done? Okay, it worked. 34 minutes. How much has been the second half? Okay, let's go back and see if it says 100% on our activities list, and that'll give us all the answers we've been asking for. For me, it's been over 2 hours and 20 minutes of this. Let's see. Okay, 100%. So it counted. <laughs> it counted all that weird waste of time I had in the harbor. Anywho, okay, good. So that's awesome. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do videos for all of these. Um, some of them will be a series of videos, like some of these, I think, like three hours. Yeah, like this will be, you know, a couple weeks per video, just like a bush trip type thing. But that's the plan. If I figure out a way to save progress for the Lindbergh one, we will do that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. So like and subscribe so you find out when I find out, and I'll see you in the next one.